Hey y'all! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday, October 27th, and today I'm going to be filming a vlog. So it is currently 7.50 a.m. and I just rolled out of bed and Cooper is wanting to play fetch right now. But I figured I would take y'all along with me today because it's just going to be a crazy day. So as you can tell, my face is so sunburnt. My lips are swollen. And that is because I have been out of town the last five days going fishing. And I got a little bit, a little bit too burnt. But today I am kind of regrouping, repacking because I leave to go to Florida tomorrow morning because I am leaving again tomorrow to go to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. So today is going to be a reset, regroup day and I've got a lot of stuff that needs to get done. So I figured I'd start right here this morning as soon as I roll out of bed and I am going to bring y'all along with me. Let's do the darn thing y'all. First things first, I've got to show y'all the puppy's cute haircuts that they got. They both look so darn good. Oh, Bo, you are the most adorable thing in the world. So Petco kept rescheduling their grooming appointments, and they ended up giving both of the dogs their appointments free. And they were like, you know, we highly underestimated how much hair these dogs had. But, I have to say, they did a darn good job on them. Cooper, show them how cute you look. You're a fat little boy, though, but you look so cute. You want to play ball? Since I have about a million things to do, I grabbed my notepad, and we are going to make a to-do list so I know exactly what needs to be done today. to-do list is done. I've made myself some coffee because I am feeling dead to the world this morning. The last five days have been go, go, go. I have today to rest and recover and then it's going to be go, go, go for like the next week and a half. So cheers to that y'all. Uh, now it's time to start actually getting things accomplished on my list. I am currently joined with Cody. Hey y'all. <laughs> really? Hey y'all! There we go. That's the enthusiasm we want this early morning. But we are currently on the way to the grocery store and academy. I think we're going to do ribs for dinner tonight. We haven't smoked in our smoker in a couple of days. So I really want to do some ribs. So we're going to smoke some ribs. So we need to go to the grocery store and pick up the stuff for that. And I need to go buy some black tennis shoes to bring to the boat show this weekend. First stop this morning is Academy, who already has their Christmas decorations out. Um, that's what I like to see. I am ready for Christmas right now. We are currently at the gas station filling up my truck. But after we went to Academy, it was a bust. I didn't find any tennis shoes I wanted. So we decided to go pop into Marshalls and see if they had any tennis shoes. Well, of course, they didn't have what I wanted, but I did find a couple of things I wanted to buy while I was there. The first thing I grabbed was this Skinny Syrups Christmas pack. They have all of the Christmas decorations that you can buy out at Marshalls, and oh my God, it made me so darn happy. But this has the Christmas cookie flavor, peppermint bark, and salted caramel mocha. I thought this would be fun to put in my coffee. And then, since we are going to Park City next week, and it is cold, cold there, and I think it's actually been snowing. Um, this is definitely not a snowy jacket, but it was so cute, I had to buy it. It's this furry jacket. I don't know what this material is called, but it's by Eddie Bauer, and it was only $25, but it is so cute and fuzzy and soft. So yeah, that is what I picked up at Marshall's, because... I couldn't help myself. I haven't bought anything for myself in a while, so coffee syrup in a jacket, your girl is happy. Now we're about to pop on over to HEB 
and grab our groceries and head on home. And y'all, I literally look like I rolled out of bed and went shopping. <laughs> I like change from my pajamas into basically more pajamas, but you know what? It is what it is. I don't really care how I look in public, obviously. So, look, there's Cody pumping my gas. Love that. And yeah, grocery shopping time. Time to go grab our groceries. We decided to go to Kroger. Didn't grab too many things at Kroger, but I figured I'd share what I picked up. So, since I'm going out of town, I got a chicken. I'm gonna make Cody some chicken salad before yeah. I leave. Yay! Chicken salad, woo! <laughs> hey, cool. Look at that right fat now. boy, all excited. Oh uh, no, chicken salad, he loves it too. <laughs> anyway, so I got some deodorant, super fun. Some foundation that I don't even know if it'll match my skin tone because my face is like four different shades of color right now. Our rack of ribs that we're going to smoke. We're going to probably throw these on the smoker here soon because it takes about six hours for them to cook. Got some bacon bits for a loaded cauliflower. I have been wanting some of these little pickles to snack on. A red onion for the chicken salad. Some ground beef so Cody can make tacos while I'm out of town. This Dunkin' Donuts coffee, because I'm just about out of coffee. And I grabbed this one because it said, your favorite contest winner. So, since the people voted it's good, I'm going to try it out. And then we got some disinfecting wipes, because this is like the first time we've seen them since March. So, yeah. That is my haul. Not too much, but exactly what we needed. It is 11.51 right now, and I am so hungry that I cannot think straight. So I am going to whip up Cody and I something for our first meal of the day, even though it's almost noon. We haven't eaten. So since I have some eggs that need to get eaten, and I have some low-carb tortillas that need to get eaten, I decided that I'm going to make some breakfast quesadillas. What I'm going to do is I scrambled up a couple of eggs, I diced up some ham, and I have some sharp cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna cook the eggs and assemble it all and make us some breakfast quesadillas. So first thing I'm doing is throwing a little bit of butter in there, and I'm gonna add my ham, let that heat up and cook just a little bit. Now that my ham is cooked, I'm gonna pour in about six eggs that I cracked and scrambled and just scramble this all together. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to the eggs. My eggs are scrambled and done, so I'm gonna set the eggs aside and grab a different pan so we can assemble the quesadillas. I'm gonna go ahead and make Cody's breakfast quesadilla first. So what I'm going to do is just throw the tortilla down in the bottom of my skillet. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese all over the tortilla because the cheese kind of acts like glue to hold it all together. Going to throw some of my scrambled egg mixture on top of that. And just a little bit more cheese on top. Throw this other tortilla on it and I'm just gonna let it melt together for a minute or two and then we'll flip it. Let's see how this is gonna go. Boom, okay, not perfect, but it worked. And just like that, easy peasy breakfast quesadilla. For my breakfast quesadilla, I'm making it the same way except I'm using these low carb tortillas. I ended up making one whole quesadilla and then one with just a tortilla folded in half. And boy, oh boy, I'm so excited for this. It's gonna be so good. Here is a look at my breakfast quesadilla. I added a little bit of picante sauce on the side to dip it in. And I am realizing that this is a lot more food than I thought it was gonna be. So, there's that. But I am going to dig in because I am so darn hungry. How's it taste? <laughs> so like I mentioned, we have been fishing in Louisiana the past couple of days. And we have a ton of fish fillets that we caught from our trips. And we are planning on doing a big fish fry with a bunch of people. So we want to preserve this fish to use it another day. And we are about to vacuum seal all of this fish. We have a ton of trout fillets. We have redfish on the half shell. And we have just some redfish fillets. And then we have some redfish throats for my mom. 
So we got our little vacuum sealer that I actually got on Amazon and we are about to vacuum seal all this fish. This is gonna take a while, but it's gonna make it last so we can enjoy it down the road. Well, I think I know what we're giving people for Christmas now. Some fish fillets, because we got a lot of fish and we have no freezer space for all of this. I don't know where it's gonna go yet, but it is vacuum sealed and ready to go in the freezer. Now we may have to call Lowe's and see if they have a freezer we can buy. So there's that. 12 seconds later. Well, it is needed. We have no room in our freezer. So I found the only chest freezer basically available anywhere and I am buying it right now. Do I wanna buy it? No, but we desperately need one. So we're gonna go pick up a deep freezer in an hour. Well, once we vacuum sealed all that fish, I realized that I don't even have room in our freezer right now for one of those like 20 bags of fish. So I got online, found the only chest freezer available anywhere close to us. And I was like, you know what I'm doing? I'm buying it. So I bought it and in an hour, we're gonna go pick up our brand new 10 cubic foot chest freezer. But now we will have room to store our fish and actually be able to buy frozen things because we haven't had freezer space in ages. What did you do with your ball? What did you do with it? Did you put it in the cooler? Oh no, you put it on top of the cooler. Why, why did you put it there? What made you think that was a great idea? Just so I'd be forced to play with you and get it? Yeah? Okay. And Bo is licking his food bowl. Cause you're so hungry, aren't you? Oh my gosh. Mother didn't feed you a scoop and a half this morning. Anyways, we are gonna get the ribs started. So these can go on the grill before we have to go run across town and pick up our new freezer. We're doing the three, two, one method for these ribs. I've shown how you do it before. But yeah, this is just a quick and easy smoking rib method that turns out delicious every time. Just a quick little reminder to always remember to remove the membrane off of your rack of ribs because it just makes them taste a lot better. And you just meat slapped me. No! Gross person! Oh, it's tainted. As always, we use mustard as our binder to hold on the barbecue seasoning. We're gonna put on the ribs. Cody loves to rub his meat. That's right. <laughs> seasoning up these ribs with some Heath Rowell's barbecue seasoning. Ribs are going on the smoker. Now it's gonna take about six hours for these to fully cook, but man, is it easy to cook them, and they turn out delicious. Put the ribs on the grill, and now we came over to Best Buy to pick up our new freezer. Yay, I'm so excited. We went and picked up the freezer, and it's time to set this bad boy up and get her fired up so that we can put the fish in it at some point today. Ooh, I am really excited about this. I have been wanting a chest freezer since like April, but they have been sold out for months. So the fact that this one was in stock when I wanted to buy it today, very much appreciative of that. So time to open this up and carry it into the laundry room where it's going to live. Not gonna lie, the chest freezer is definitely bigger than I thought it was gonna be. We had to kind of rearrange our laundry room. However, it fits in here and it is desperately needed. So we have a freezer right there. I also have a little fridge right there that I've just been putting some drinks in. I may end up unplugging that. But yeah, this is our brand new freezer. This thing has a ton of room in it. I am so shocked. For like $320, I have to say, this was a heck of a deal. After three hours of the ribs being on the smoker, we're gonna pull them off and wrap them. We added some butter, we're gonna spritz them with a little bit of apple juice, wrap them up, and they'll go back on the smoker for two more hours.
having a ton of pain lately in my back. And so on Amazon, I got this massager. And y'all, this thing is awesome. It's by the brand Alkai, I think is how you say it. I will link this down below. But it is very handy. It comes with all of these attachments. And my personal favorite is the one with the ball on it. And I am going to get Cody to show you how I use it because he can massage my back. But this has been a lifesaver because there are some days where I literally can't sit up straight because my back has been hurting. And this thing is so cool. So you just, first things first, I've got to turn it on down here. Turn it on. And then I can set the speed that I want and it just starts going. I'm trying to have Cody demonstrate how he uses this massage gun on me because it really helps my tense back muscles, but Cooper just wants to bite me. He is, <laughs> this dog is so weird. But, oh golly, oh my God. But yeah, this thing is awesome! <laughs> Since I'm going out in public for the next few days and I need to look presentable, it is time for yet another round of glue on nails. Today I'm using the Real Short Acrylic French Nails. I like these because they really do look like acrylic nails. So here is a little before and and there we go y'all my nails are done and they look so good so much simpler than going and getting my nails done and like forty dollars cheaper get the same look you know this is what i do i glue the nails on this is this is my go-to but now it is time to continue on with everything that I have on my to-do list that I am slowly working on getting checked off today. It is currently 7.26. Our rib should be coming off here shortly. And I am just ticking one thing off at a time. And I still have a lot to do. I have not started even thinking about packing. That's not good when my flight's at 10 a.m. in the morning. The ribs are just about ready to be pulled off the smoker and I am going to get started on sides. We are going super simple tonight. I am doing some loaded mashed cauliflower and some baked beans to go with the ribs. I'm so excited, your girl is hungry. So let's make these sides. I am going super simple with the loaded cauliflower mash. I am using some cauliflower from bird's eye just some mashed cauliflower in the roasted garlic flavor i've microwaved it for about seven minutes and now i am just going to add a bunch of random things to it first off some sharp cheddar cheese a big old dollop of sour cream sprinkle on some bacon bits a little bit of salt and pepper now I just stir it up and then microwave it for one more minute and it is ready to go. Look at how good these ribs look. Ooh, they are fall off the bone, which is just the way I like them. Look at that, yum. Well, I have to say that dinner tonight looks Fabulous. We got our ribs. We got our loaded mashed cauliflower and a little serving of some baked beans. Ooh, I am spoiled. This is going to be so darn good. Just a little update. It is now 942 at night and I have yet to start packing. So we are going to do that right now. I am actually currently in the middle of washing all of our bedding. Oh yay, there's a Cooper on the bed. But... I've got a pack. I'm going to set y'all up right here so y'all can hold me accountable. bit of an update. It is 1123 
And I am mostly packed. Well, at least for my clothes, my toiletries are somewhat packed because some certain Cocker Spaniel keeps trying to pull them out of my suitcase. But I've got some shoes. I still need to go find a pair of black tennis shoes to bring with me. And I've got to go take a bath. And I will be wrapping things up for the night. I've got to be up in less than seven hours. So, it's going to be a night of not much sleep because I am a procrastinator. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's what we're up to. Little doglet, you were crazy. You were crazy. Well, y'all, I am sitting here editing this video and realized, like always, I did not film an outro. After I finished packing at like 1 a.m., I hit the hay because I had to be up at 6 o'clock the next morning to get up, get ready, and fly to Florida, which is where I am now. So I am hopefully going to have some vlogs from our show here in Fort Lauderdale, so be on the lookout for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Mwah.